What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more I Am Fish. Now last time we left off, we actually beat the game. We did the finale over here and actually encompassed all four fish together. You had to use like a bunch of teamwork, uh, using different fish and their different special abilities to try and like solve a bunch of different puzzles and get them all out of the aquarium. And it had a really fun ending there where the aquarium like kind of like leaked out and then washed the whole entire town in a big tsunami. And of course all the fish, along with all the other fish in the uh, aquarium made it to the ocean escaped to the ocean so that's really cool it took us an hour for that heckin uh, level right there but i think the video itself was about 10 minutes shorter than that so that's good respawn 15 times though but after we did this mission right here this level whatever you want to call it uh we actually unlocked a bonus level over here and what we needed to do was get 40 stars and 40 bread in order to actually unlock this so that's what i did between this episode and last episode went back to the first piranha level and the first flying fish level i think we had one or two stars on each of those right there and uh, like like maybe one or two bread on each one or maybe three on one of them uh, but I, I went back and did them again uh, once each so we have uh, four bread four stars there four bread four stars there so making some great progress maybe I'll have to do it a third time if I want to get that uh, that last piece of bread for the piranha mission because there's that one section where you have to go in like three different uh, directions you have to make a choice which bread you want to get you can't get them all in one one run you have to do it all in three separate runs if you want to get all the bread there. But anyways, let's jump into the next level over here. Bernardshire Space Agency. <laughs> I guess that explains why we're in space all of a sudden. Golly, there's a heckin space like shuttle or whatever coming out of this town because I guess they all escaped the big flood. <laughs> Anyways, and I can't even read all the, uh, the the bread locations are or maybe you can if you're a robot and you could like decipher what binary says right there. I don't know. Someone in the comments is probably going to translate that and see what it actually says. It's probably like an Easter egg. Maybe it says like I am Seagull is the next game or something like that because we saw that at the end of the last level. But without any further ado, let's jump in. Oh, there's no cutscene or anything like that here. There's no 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 trying to explain why we're suddenly up in space, I guess, huh? But uh, looking outside the window here, yep, that's Earth, all right. Golly, <laughs> I don't know why we're even here. And it looks like, yeah, we are controlling all four fish once again, so that's really cool. Speaking of control, let's actually turn the controls on there, and then, uh, yeah, I'll switch over to the normal controls. I, th I think we've done enough of the boss and control stuff, and especially on a bonus level like this, it's probably not going to be smart to use the, uh, the, the harder controls to, uh, wait, how do we, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> it's probably not going to be a good idea to use the harder controls on this level. We just have to, uh... Wait, what do I do here? I'm, I'm kind of stuck already. Pfft. Hold on. Oh, yeah, okay. Never mind. Yeah, okay. It looks like the pro Okay, so it started us out with the piranha, but obviously we're not going to be using the piranha here. So we have to switch over to the other fish, see what we're going to do to get out of here, huh? Oh, so, oh, and then the puffer fish is in the same. Yeah, the, why are the flying fish and the puffer fish together? That's kind of weird. So how are we going to get out of here? And let's see what the goldfish is up to. Oh, gosh, what in the world is the goldfish doing all the way over here? He's like a part of like some locking mechanism or something over here, like next to the to the to the hatch. I wonder what that's all about. Switch back over to not you, flying fish. Let's see. Probably not the flying. Okay, it's got to be piranha then. Because I was about to say like maybe we could bring that up right there. Oh, whoops. Yeah, using that ability, we could probably use that. Oh no. Oh man. Or like I saw back here, use this right here. Yep, there we go. It worked. Okay. Good thing I tested out both of them right there because I was curious about that. Might need the actual piranha for that bit right there. But does this go? Where does this go? Does this go to the piranha or no? The piranha had a completely different area, didn't he? Yeah. See, look at this. This is a. This is, wait. Where is the piranha? Oh wait, yeah. No, wait. What? How did I not see him? Well, I guess he kind of blended in, or I guess he was below me. I didn't see him right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's how you actually get both the uh, all the fish together here in the beginning. Now we have to. Lo looks like rescue the goldfish out there so how are we going to open up this just grab this oh you just bite it off okay you don't even have to lift it up or anything like that and yeah because we're in water right now i don't know i guess because we're in water we're also in space i was supposed to say like it feels zero gravity because we're in water but we're also literally in space so i assume if we somehow like make it out of the water we'll still be like floating around and stuff like that so that's going to be interesting now do the other fish over here do they follow me whenever i'm controlling a fish again or do i have to do do i have to switch to each one or what are we doing here? Yeah, it seems like I have to switch to each one to actually move them all, which is kind of an interesting little. Oh, here we go. Sh our uh, checkpoint right here. Wait, I can't get out there. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's red rings right here, which usually means piranha time. All right, let's get the piranha. Try and open up these. There's like really peaceful music in the background as well. Open it up. Ah, there you go. Nice. All right, I don't know if I need to open up this other one, but I might as well just do it anyways. There you go. So what's behind this little 
area over here. Is this just one area? Or just okay. I didn't have. Oh wait, no. Yeah, I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to do both of them. I just had to do one of them right there. Whoops. So what do we do from here though? Oh no, the checkpoint. Nice. Oh, is there any bread? Yeah, there should be bread. It's just that. Oh man, here we go. We have a turning thing right here. But I, I do wanna. Ah, you know what? The fly. Yeah, the flying fish is pretty far back. Let's try and get him met up at least with the puffer fish and whatnot. Yeah, see, they're right here. Ah, keep them all in the same room. That way, if I'm like, oh man, I could use the puffer fish for this, I could use the flying fish for that, they're all going to be close by, and we'll have to take them like halfway across the map, right? So there you go. And the goldfish is still over here. So where is he? Is it? Is he on the other side of this glass right here? I don't know. I can't tell. It's really reflective inside there. I think that's where we just were right there. Oh wait, no. Yeah. So that might. Yeah. This. This. This is definitely where we are right now. Okay. So we're on the other side of that little little hatch right there. So that's really cool. So if I get the piranha and then start opening up this, or like depressurizing it or whatever this is doing, swim up and swim down. Swim up. Wait, am I, am I tightening it right now? Hold on, let's go the other direction. <laughs> let's loosen this end. Lefty Lucy. Golly, there you go. Oh, keep going, keep going. Why is it not spinning around? Is this stuck? Oh, I don't know if it's moving anymore. It's, 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 it's kind of moving. It's barely moving right there. Let's see if anything changed around here, though. What's this? This is the thing you can go. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, I didn't see what that was. I thought it was like a reflection of something, but no. Oh my gosh. Oops. Uh oh. Wait, what in the world? Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. This is bad. 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 Swim this way. No. I'm sorry. I'm gonna die. No. Man, I flung outside like the floating water blobs and stuff, and now I'm dead. Man. Okay, so how did that? Yes. Yeah, so, okay, so that opened it up. I didn't even notice that's what it did. I did. I thought it did something to do with the gold. Oh, wait, and it just... Yes, okay, so there we go. I didn't even notice that at first, so... Mmm... I get... Oh, whoa, there is a bread back here. Ooh, look at that. How did I see that? That's obviously bouncing back there. Golly. Kind of want to backtrack, honestly. See if there's any more back here that I might have missed out on. I'm like, it is so tight back here. You think... Well, then again, I didn't see that. The bread just second. I was about to say, it's so tight, so enclosed and whatnot. You think you'd see the breads really easily, but I literally missed that bread in the corner there. But yeah, I think we got everything at least in this area. It seems like we're going to go into that open area there with the actual uh, goldfish itself here, but we have to kind of be careful because we're floating in zero gravity, going from what looks like blob of water to blob of water, and I don't know where necessarily I'm going here, but it seems like the puffer, or uh, the, the, the piranha is probably the best bet to, you know, you know, open up hatches and break things and stuff like that, you know? Pufferfish is very special. Actually, you know what? Flying fish might make more sense for this, honestly. Well, then, I don't know. Does he? Can he glide in zero ground? I don't know. But if we go down... Oh, yeah, you know what? If we go down there... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, yes, yes! And then bite onto this. Is that working? I think it is. I don't know. Is that? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh, go, go. No! No! I fell out of the bubble! I fell out of the bubble! No! I'm gonna die out here! Man, the flinging force flung me backwards and outside of the water! Man, okay. Let's, let's try it again. Slowly learning each- oh, whoops. Slowly learning each step here, which is good. A little bit of trial and error. Uh, swim up. There you go. Swim up and then swim- there you go. Okay, that's open now. Oh, whoa! Immediately fell into there. That's good. Alright, so let's, let, let's immediately aim for this little, little, little blob down there, trying to open up the, there we go, and then, oof, wow, barely made it right there. Try and open up this. Okay, there we go, there we go. Then let's try and be careful, because I'm, oh, there we go, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get flung out using the force of the, oh, the force of the biting, like, like, turning against me, I guess you could say, huh? So here we go, not this, open this up, up, oh, there we go. Okay, so now what do we do? The goldfish is, okay, there we go, yes, we can control the, go but he's trapped inside this, like, cube thing. Which honestly is kind of rem reminiscent of the, uh... Oh, man, there's actually, uh... Oh, there's a lot of red, actually, around here, I was about to say. We could use, uh... Wait, am I actually... Am I able to move these, though? Hold on. No, I'm not. I'm not able to move it. But I think the goldfish is able to be, like, self-contained in his own thing here, which is good. I don't know if I could move the actual bubbles themselves. Or if I need to, like, have something move them for me. And how do I open up the hatch? I, I want to go, uh... You know, flying fish. Is there anything back here? And by the way, oh yeah, I have to get that bread again. Yeah, because I respawned. It only saves it whenever you get a uh, checkpoint, so we do need to watch out for that. 
I guess we'll just take all the fish out there just so we have them all together, just like I said a minute ago. And I guess we can switch over to the flying fish. There you go. So, yeah, because there's a bubble, like, immediately after that uh, little, little tunnel right there. So that's good. So we're going to be all together here in this little bubble. Oh, 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 oh be careful. Oh, wait, no, the piranha's still down there, though. But I do want to see if I'm able... Oh, yeah, I don't know if you can move this bubble. How would you move this bubble, though, right? I don't know. I might just use the uh, the goldfish to kind of explore around. Just keep them over there in the in the safety of the water that's over there, you know? And keep looking around, see if there's anything we could do. Because it looks like we have to open up this door, but I don't know how. And there's nothing really we could do, except for maybe... Hold on, do you have to move this? Uh, oh, there's a checkpoint right after, too. Move this up or down? Oh. Oh yeah, you move it down, you move it down. Okay, yeah, I see it, I see it. Yeah, see that little, little, little tab coming out and then you do it like that? There we go! And then that opens up that big hatch right there, cool. Okay, so his goldfish came in clutch right there, which is great. And oop, there you go. So what do we do now? Do we just leave the other fish behind and they're like little water bubbles and stuff like that? I don't know. Hold on. Looks like there's water actually inside there now that I think about it. Can I break those? Hold on. Hold on. I don't know. Looks like it might be cracked. Unless there's something inside there. Is there a thing I can- Oh! Yep, there we go! Hey! Look at that! Another bubble right there! Perfect! Okay. Oh wow! Oh yeah! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Bubble there! Look, look at this! It's going to make a little path of bubbles into the other room. Okay, I'm glad I noticed that. I was about to say, like, I don't, I don't want to, like, leave all the fish behind, but it seems like this is what you have to do here, so... Boom, there you go, and big bubble appearing right there. You think with all the water, high pressure water, appearing or going through these, like, little pipes and stuff like that, that the bubbles would be a little bit bigger, but no. And where did that bubble come from, by the way? It just came out of, like, nowhere. That just appeared out of nowhere. I'm not complaining, though, but should be able to get all the fish met up over here, which is good. Uh, let's see, let's go down here. There you go. Yeah, you kind of have to aim where you want to go, because you can't control whenever you're out of the water, which is kind of a scary thing, honestly. Uh, just got like, just like in space. I don't know if you guys have ever seen. Oh, oh, oh no, no. Oh, oh my gosh. Can I make it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, whoa. The f flying fish can kind of glide right there. Man, that seemed to work out pretty well at the end there. But yeah, it's pretty spooky. If you guys see like, 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 like astronauts like spacewalking and stuff like that. And you see them without like a little tether or anything like that. You're like super spooked that they might like go floating off into space forever and just like stay out there forever, you know? Super scary stuff there. That's why I'm, I'm kind of getting those vibes right now with these fish in space. Literal fish in space. <laughs> Look at the puffer fish in his little smile as he, like, just floats through space right there. He's so cute. Let's get the, uh, yep, the last one was the piranha. Okay. And first one in, last one out, huh? Let's see. Yeah, I've been skipping. I've been skipping to that last bubble this whole time here. I might just continue that trend. And, oh, whoa, we moved really fast. Holy heck. And where's the goldfish at? Oh, yep, there he is right there. Okay. So I'm going to keep them right there. Because it does look like there's another pipe right here I could burst, which is good. And ba-boom. Okay, perfect. So we could actually move all those fish right there. And then in here, more bubbles. Okay, more bubbles. Okay, you know what? You know what? Before I get that checkpoint, let me move all the fish back together again. That way, if we do respawn, go into that bubble, go into the bubble. Yes, okay. And then, uh, where's the next bubble at? Where's, where is it? Uh, oh, hold on. There's another pipe back there I didn't get. Here we go. So it looks like they have to go down and then they head out. Thankfully, I noticed that right there. Because I don't think that angle would work. There you go. Perfect. I don't think that angle going from that top bubble all the way down here. I don't know if that would work because you kind of have to go in a straight line. You have to be careful like that. So there you go. Make, make it nice and open for them. So there you go. We have the flying fish. Just head straight down. Head straight down. Although it does seem like the flying fish is able to actually uh, kind of maneuver while in space with a glide and whatnot, right? So that's really cool. Oh, boom, there you go, perfect. Wow, really good there. Let's get the piranha next. Trying to basically do a little bit of leapfrog right here with all the fish. <laughs> Leap fish, if you will. Oh, no. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I can't switch. I can't switch. No, man, I should have got the checkpoint. Oh, gosh. Wait, what is this? Oh, wait, when the world? Now they're all gonna die. Because the water didn't respawn. Uh-oh, that is... Uh-oh, I'm, I'm in an infinite loop right now. Whoops. Why didn't it save all the water? Oh, my gosh! Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I might need to report a bug here, you guys. Whoops. 
or like a, like like I don't know if it's a bug. It, it, I guess it is. I'm like these fish need to like respawn inside of bubbles and stuff like that. Man, well, that sucks. I think I'm gonna have to redo the level up but up to this point because I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> I can't switch to the goldfish by the way. Like look at this. I'm spamming the the one button, the up button on the controller. It's not letting me switch to the goldfish to break open that other thing over there, man. Ah, all right. Let me let me try this level up uh, up to that point again. And I'll see you guys here in just a minute. Man, that sucks. Alright guys, back. I'm at this section now where we open up this hatch. I think I'm just going to get the checkpoint. I think what I'm going to do now moving forward is if I need a fish, I'll bring it forward. I'm not going to keep them all together. But there you go, we got the checkpoint there. Are we going to need another fish for this, this section here? Oh wow, look at that view of Earth. Man, I always love seeing like, like space views of Earth. Like, through wind. Like, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. What's that? It's supposed to be like a... Oh gosh, is that the sun? Holy heck! I guess it's like a weird reflection of the, the, the lights over here behind me or something like that. That's kind of weird. But man, look at that. Look at that. It's Earth right there. It's like... It looks like nighttime lights. I don't know where this is. It's hard to tell whenever it's all dark like this. Is that Japan over there? This might be China we're above right now. Interesting. Huh. Alright, well either way, without gawking over the super beautiful view of Earth right there. Uh, or we're done doing that, I guess. <laughs> Let's figure out what to do next. And there's a big red thing right here. Let's see what this is right here. Is this a switch? What is this? What do you do with this? Hold on. Oh, is this a puzzle piece? You have to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah oh, man. How do I how do I because it looks like that back of that goes into that. Oh wait, no. Yeah, you want to forget about that. Yeah, forget about that. You want to swim into there with something that can fit. And obviously this can't fit, right? So now we need to bring another fish. I'm kind of thinking, is that a bubble back there? Yeah, see, we're not going to fit there, yeah. I'm kind of thinking flying fish. Just because he has that extra... Oh, yeah, see, look at this. The flying fish is all the way back here still. Uh, that's the wrong way. And the puffer fish is there as well, so... Uh, if we if we need the puffer fish for whatever reason, we can always go back and get them, but... This is what I'm talking about where I was like, yeah, I'm just going to leave the fish behind until I actually do need them. So now we can get the uh, flying fish right there. And I did break all the glass before I get the checkpoint. So if 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 I do die or whatever, we, or uh, yeah, I, I broke. Yeah, okay, I worded that correctly. That's good. <laughs> but if I do die or whatever here, I should uh be able to respawn with all these bubbles here. So I shouldn't have that problem anymore. So that's good. And look at the flying fish. <laughs> They're all so cute whenever they look at the camera, or at least just like spinning and wobble towards the camera or whatever they're doing. <laughs> Let's go down. There you go. And this hatch is actually closed for some reason. Is there a way I can open it up from the inside? Yeah, I should. Let's see if I could do that. Cause that, that I, I I don't I don't want to risk. Oh, and by the oh man, a piece of bread right there. Cool. Yeah, whenever we're in tight enclosures like this, should be able to find bread a little bit easier. And I say should, because it doesn't necessarily mean that I am going to actually find that bread, right? I'm trying to circle around here, trying to actually grab this handle here, and I don't know if I'm, I'm actually able to do it. Ah, <sighs> might have to actually. Yeah, see, look, that that that's all the way down there at the bottom. That's where it's supposed to be, right? So if I get the flying fish and do this, yep, uh, just swim over here, open up the, okay, yeah, there we go, oh no, no, go down, go into the bubble, go down, what are you doing, oh my gosh, just cause the hatch closed behind us, he killed the flying fish, man, yeah, what do I, oh my gosh, why does it say quit level right there, golly, Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, wow, they re all respawn together. Hey, look at that. That's super convenient. Nice. Okay. Because <laughs> I can't complain about this. Uh, let's see. So, what I was thinking was flying fish. Like, look at, how, look at how skinny he is. He could fit through that hole a lot easier than trying to get the blowfish or the pufferfish. Or, uh, <laughs> literally the same thing. Or the piranha through that. And obviously, the goldfish can't get through that, right? So, I try and aim. And, oh, yep, here we go. Boom. And, yep, there was indeed water back here, just like I was uh, suspecting. So, that's cool. So it looks like we have to go over to that bubble now, so let's do the same thing. Boom! Get the momentum going in that direction. And do we have to go up right here? It looks like it. Is there water up there? Is that safe? Oh, man. oh, we have to go up a lot! Ooh, okay, well let's swim, swim! Up, 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 up! And do a bunch of fish flops! <laughs> and then we have to go that way. Okay, so what am, I, what am I necessarily doing right now? I thought I was, like, gonna go on the other side of that- Oh, whoa, my gosh! I flung into there with absolute and utter force. Holy heck. All right. Oh, hey, another checkpoint right there. Cool. So I guess what we're just going to do is just keep the flying fish for right now. And I assume if we have to respawn or whatever, the other fish will come back here. 
There's a big button right there. Another, uh, another button over there. Two buttons, actually, over there. I don't know if I'm able to hit all of them, but, uh, Oh, and another bread right there, too. Look at that, right in the captain's chair. Is there another one here? Mm, I don't know. Or at least one of the cap- or a pilot seats or whatever. I don't know what this is. It's a spaceship. Oh, man, there's- Whoa, there's even bubbles down there. Like, look at that. Down there. I'll zoom in for you guys. Down there. What do you do there? Do I- Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, look at that! Wait, no, is that where we came- Yeah, that- Okay, that is where we came from, so... I kind of want to get the piranha over here, because I saw something that looked like the piranha might be able to take use of it. And I don't know where. Like, is there a shortcut that we opened up? I guess not. Yeah, I I, I don't think there's a shortcut that flying fish opened up for us, unfortunately. Unless I just die and respawn, right? So, whoop, guess I'm going in next. Oh, 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 into the water. Yes, yeah. Oh, no. You're outside of the water. Oh, oh no, no, no. Go up, up, up. Oh, no, the, ah, no, the piranha's dead. Look at him floating and... He's not gonna make it over there. He's gonna hit this ledge. Oh no! Ah uh, man, why does he keep going to quit level right there, man? Oh, hey, look at the, just like I said, I did not do that on purpose. By the way, I did not do that on purpose. Uh, but we re we all respawn together over here, which is great. So I think what I could do is the safest bet is to get the goldfish over here to get this uh, bread. So there you go. Yep. And then what I saw was right there. You guys see that switch right there? I don't think this, I don't think he's, I don't think the goldfish is able to fit in there. I was trying to get the piranha to go right here into this. Because I don't know why there's like a weird tunnel there, but there is. And then the piranha can like kind of go wrap around and then hit that lever. Because he has to bite onto it and then, yeah, because it looks like the lever is actually under, under a water bubble. So that seems like that's going to work. But what would that even do? I don't know. I'm going to hit all these buttons first, though. <laughs> Just because I'm curious. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what did that do? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, what's it say? Earth re-entry checklist. Close cargo bay doors. Hold override button and then flip override switch. Okay, hold override button. So, which one is which? Was that that button up there? That was the, uh... Because I'm figuring that whatever whatever button doesn't have a bubble... Uh, yeah, a bubble next to it. It's probably the button we need to use the goldfish for. Yeah, I don't... I, 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 Maybe you have to wait until, uh, maybe that's like the last button you hit. Yeah, see, that one has a bubble too. So what I'm thinking is maybe get Pufferfish there, because he's going to raise up and then he's going to hit that button. And I guess Flying Fish there? Because Piranha has to go all the way down there, obviously, and grab that, that, that switch. And then, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll keep Goldfish. Okay. So let's, let's get you, because you're the closest to this button here. And then, uh, I guess you just stand next to it, right? So there you go. How, how do I, how do I... Ensure that the button stays down, though. I don't know. Let's go over here. Let's go hit that switch. Well, thankfully, this one's just a switch. So we'll be able to just turn it on and off or whatever else. We'll have to, like, keep them up against the button or anything like that. But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious how we're actually going to keep these guys all hitting their respective buttons. That they need. Oh, it goes up a little bit right here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. what's that? What? Oh, it's just the back of the light. Okay. <laughs> then swim this way. Boom. And then here we go. Here's the switch. So maybe you can't do any of that stuff until we hit the switch first. I don't know, let's see. Oh, and this one up. There you go. So we hit the switch. What does that do? What did that do up here? Something change? Oh, flip override switch. Okay, yeah, that's that's been done. That's been checked. Hold the override button. I I, I guess I get the or, uh, puffer fish. Swim over to there, which I think it might be safer to go like this. And then to this bubble, and then head sideways to that bubble back there. That might be a little bit safer. Yeah, see, there you go. Man, this is such a wacky game. Like, like, sometimes I get, like, so immersed in the game, I don't even, like, step back and think, like, what in the world am I doing? Controlling four fish in space, trying to, like, hit, like, Earth re-entry buttons and whatever else, right? So there we go, that's going. Close cargo bay doors. How do you do that? Oh my gosh, there's a whole other area up here. Are you kidding me? What? Holy heck, I might have to cut out a bunch of footage. Close the cargo bay doors. Oh my gosh, what in the world? This is straight up space out here. Ah. Uh, hold on. So I just got... I'm actually out in straight up space, you guys. <laughs> uh, so what do you do? Do you hit this button? Yeah, I'm going to have to cut out so much footage right there. I was like raging and whatnot. Like, oh man, I, uh, the doors are closed. What does it want from me? Okay, what? there you go. We hit a button. What did that do? I, oh, this is the cargo. Okay, so it's, we're on a space shuttle. 
and the, the, the back of it's open right now. I hit that button. Hit this. Might have to get a little bit more force to actually hit that button, if this is what it does. So there you go. That work? What, are the, what do you do? That button's green, that button down there, that, that's green. Is there another one around here I have to hit? Is there a bread around here too? <laughs> I don't know. A hatch. And yeah, see, here's this. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go down here. Is there something down here? More buttons I have to hit? Oh, I think... Uh, no. Never mind. Thought there was something down there. I guess not. Yeah, what do you do? I hit both things. Both buttons are green. They're good to go. Uh, do I just leave? Is that what you have to do? If so, then... I guess here we go. So what now? The cargo doors are still open. I don't know. Do I not? Oh my gosh, there's bread up there. Holy heck, gimme, gimme. Babo, and there's Earth. And there's the sun. Can I see like Mars and Venus and stuff? I don't know. Is there other stuff here? Yeah, see, here's the front of the space shuttle. Like a weird satellite on the front of it, too. Oh, wait, do I literally have to actually like physically push the doors shut? Are they, like, not mechanized or whatever? Wait, no, you just go through the what? Uh, I'm confused. Uh, okay, well, let's just go check up on that checklist, see if anything- Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's take you. I don't think any other fish is close enough to the checklist to actually check it. So, let's go down here, let's see. Close cargo bay doors, that should be good, right? That work? No, it didn't! What?! Close cargo- How do you do- Oh, do you, is it this button? Wait, no, no, it's, it's this button, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. There we go. Yeah, look at them closing back. Finally, we figured it out, golly. Probably getting billions of comments, cutting out hours of footage. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So now, pufferfish. Boom. Oh, whoops, whoops. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Boom. There we go. Now what? Final phase. Uh, please autopilot. Okay. Press autopilot button. Boom! We hit it! Oh my gosh, it's working! The space shuttle is moving! Oh, there were five- oh, five heckin' stars! What? How did we get five stars there? I hecked up so much. I got two achievements right there. Got four of the bread. Where was the last one? We got one that was on top of the space shuttle. We got the- well, there was one that didn't spawn in. I don't know if that counted or what, but it's just still binary right there. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? Two respawns is my bad. I could probably do that in zero respawns, to be quite honest, but holy heck! Five stars on the bonus level. Four out of five bread. Don't know where the last one would be. I'm kind of thinking in my head right now, where were all the bread locations? Did I get- did I actually know where all five were? I feel like I do. Although at the same time, they were kind of well hidden, but at the same time, at the same time, they're in really tight spaces, so it's kind of hard to actually hide them there, right? But, I don't know, I guess I did miss one. <laughs> Either way, there we go, you guys. I guess it was just one bonus level where you escape from a heckin' space shuttle by piloting a heckin' space shuttle with fish. Like, how do you... You, you can talk to people in public about what you do in this game, and they'll think that you're crazy. Like, seriously, like, this, this whole game is crazy in and of itself, so... <laughs> Either way, I, I still hope you guys had fun. I, I kind of feel dumb there at the very end, uh, not, not seeing that whole other pathway. I'm going to have to cut out so much footage here. This might be like a 10 minute video, to be quite honest, with all the <laughs> with all the stuff I'm going to cut out of here. Because I legit spent like 30 minutes, you know, trying to close up that hatch and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't see uh, that, that, that there's literally a tunnel above. But either way, like I said, I hope you guys still had fun here. If you guys did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as my next video comes out. It's not going to be I Am Fish because we beat the game. We, we beat the game. We did the finale. We beat the bonus level. Who knows what I'm going to play next? But if you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, YouTube will let you know what I play next. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more awesome videos. Oh, bye there.